what we see is in every organization we measure that talent doesn't follow the, the bell curve that we're used to seeing of, of manager ratings. Talent follows a power law. If you remember one thing from this talk today, just remember that talent follows a power law. So that's a really steep curve, just like this. And what it says is that in every organization, and this is what our measurements say as well, that in every organization, there are about 10 to 15% of employees who are creating half the value in, in that organization. And we also find that about 5% of employees create half the problems in that organization as well. And because of that bias uh, of manager ratings, because of the manager visibility being so reduced, we know that we can't rely on manager ratings to identify who those people are, but it's so critically important that we have those lists and we start taking action. Maybe, it's, maybe there are people who need to have some performance conversations or be exited out. And more importantly, we have top performers who the organization is depending on, who are driving the business forward, we've got to retain them. And that's that's where ONA can really be helpful. That power law is so important. It's the 80-20 principle, also known as the Pareto principle, right? As Josh said, that fraction of talent that's outstanding and driving most of your productivity, and that fraction of talent on the other end that's causing most of the problems. What's really interesting is when you take the data that we're able to find from ONA, and you compare that to the manager ratings, we see a lot of people getting that meets expectation rating that are on the opposite end of the bell curve. In other words, truly outstanding, driving 50% of the company's value, you wish you could clone them, meets expectations.